What's up gang? Welcome back to another video. Today we are out with the Kingsong S22s. We've got two of them. On my left, we've got the original KS22 with the latest firmware, but with the original A1J tire. On my right, we've got the Pirelli Angel 8080. Now this is a front tire that is designed for a scooter. The reason we've done this is the feedback we've received from the group rides and from the people coming into the shop and testing out these wheels is, I wish it was more nimble, it feels a bit hard to turn and so on. Now the A1J does take a little while to get used to, but if it's not your cup of tea, it's not your cup of tea. The Angel from Pirelli on the other hand, it feels, honestly, when I ride this, I feel like I'm riding a 16X or a V12. Something really nimble and really zippy. So today's video, we're gonna do a number of tests. I wanna show you the difference a tire change can make. We're gonna do a circumference test where we go around in the tightest possible circle I can with my ability. Then we're gonna do a zigzag test. We'll set some cones up and we'll see how each tire performs in a nice tight zigzag. Then we'll do a 50 meter sprint to see if the tires actually make a difference in the acceleration each wheel will be set up identical except for the tires and lastly we're going to take both these wheels off road we're here at underwood park over here to the left are some awesome mountain bike tracks and we'll definitely be able to report back if the pirelli angel can handle off-roading or if you want to do some serious off-roading you need to stick with the original a1j tire but enough talking let's get the pads let's get the helmet let's put it to the test here we go Guys, time for the first test, the circumference test. We've got the drone up above me. We've got a cone out there in the middle of the car park. First wheel is gonna be the original S22 with the A1J tire. Here we go. All right, couple of warm-up circles first. Woo. Okay, I'm getting from pretty tight there. I'm using my knee. My knee is definitely pushing on the top of the wheel to get, to get that circumference. That's not bad though. All right, so first circumference test, A1J tire. Not bad. All right, next up is the Pirelli Angel 8080. We'll do a couple of warm up circles and we'll see how tight we can get. Woo. Okay. So it's just instantly tighter. I'm not using my knee as much and just the turnability is so much smoother yeah wow okay so instantly the turning circle on this is a lot easier a lot less uh shoulder sort of leaning needed and also not propping my knee against the side of the s22 as much now it's time for the zigzag test I've laid the cones out as you can see they're much closer together uh, in the first half and then they space out a little bit for the second half uh, we've got a couple of different point of views here so this one is the original king song with the a1j tire next up we'll do the pirelli angel 8080 all right here we go oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. okay i'm doing it but just not very fast okay not bad those tight ones at the beginning, I'm actually really happy I made. I didn't think I would, but we did, so that's cool. All right, and now it's the Pirelli Angel 8080 tire. I should have mentioned at the beginning too, all these tests are first tries, first runs. We're not doing any second, third taste. I'm not practicing them off camera. I've laid them out and I'm trying to do it first go. So here we go, Angel 8080. This one's a lot more carvy, let's say. Oh. Okay, so instantly, yeah. Woo. This one wants to get up and go more though. That's up. Okay, so I know that was a really quick test. Carvia, way carvia. Right, let's do the sprint test. I'm gonna lay out some cones 50 meters and let's see which wheel does the best. All right, now we're gonna do the 50 meter sprint test. This is the finish line here. I'll go down there. We'll put a stopwatch over the screen and we'll see if there's much difference. If there is, I think it's gonna be by, by the millisecond. All right, let's do it. All right, gang, here we go. First up is the original tire, the A1J. We're on the start line. Hopefully you can hear me. Here we go. Three, two, one, start. All right, I started breaking a bit early because I realized I didn't leave myself much of a um, runoff area. Ooh. 
Right, let's go get the other tyre and put it to the same test. And here is the Pirelli Angel 8080. So, start the stopwatch on the screen as soon as I start moving. So three, two, one, stopwatch, go. Yeah, a lot more acceleration, way more. I'm gonna start braking earlier. Okay, brakes are about the same. Whew. Uh, this definitely felt faster off the line. Braking felt almost identical. So, as far as off the line speed, they feel very similar, but I think that's linked because we are on the latest firmware. Now, Kingsong have done, I think about 19, maybe more firmware upgrades already. The most recent one has made this thing so peppy. Um, we all wrote it individually in the shop. We all blindly wrote down a percentage increase or decrease, and all of us said 15 to 20% more power than when it originally shipped. So the firmware upgrade they've done on this has made a significant difference to its power and its torque. So that's um, two of the tests done, three of the tests done, sorry. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna put all the cones and everything away, and we're gonna go for just a bit of a road test. So just around here on the tarmac, on the smooth roads, and we'll compare the two wheels as well. Obviously, the Angel is gonna do better in this test, but we wanna make sure we test it. I also wanna do a road noise. So we'll get a camera with a mic down by the tire so you can hear the difference in the road noise as well coming off each tire. Right, let's do it. Starting off with the original A1J. We'll see how this one goes. We'll just go for a little bit of a, probably two minute ride, three minute ride. It already feels a lot squarer. But you know, it's not bad. I think I've ridden this a lot, so I am quite used to it. It just does feel very tracky but you can still get a nice flowy carb on it if you want to. It's just those tight turns that make you worry a little bit. It feels a bit, <clears throat> I don't know. It makes the wheel feel top heavy because it's, it's actually surprisingly not top heavy. What we've found with the Angel on, the Pirelli Angel, is that it seems to take away the top heaviness, which is strange, but very uh, welcoming. <laughs> But as far as, yeah, I mean, you can still get some nice little carbs going on this. Ooh. Before we swap over to the um, Angel, the other wheel, we're gonna do a road noise test. So I've unplugged my wireless mic, so there might be wind on the microphone right now. If there is, I apologize. I'm just going to go along here 100 meters, put the camera down by the tire just so you can get a feel for the road noise because it's actually not too bad. But here we go. All right, now let's do the street test on the Pirelli Angel 8080. God, it instantly feels, it just instantly feels carvier. Anyway, let's test it. We'll do the same route up to that same reasonably steep hill. Now, this just, yeah, it just has a more centering edge to it, I feel. The carving definitely feels a little bit deeper. And the cornering, I don't know. It's a, it's a different experience. I almost wouldn't say it's better. It's just maybe more traditional, if that makes sense. It definitely has, it definitely has more, a little bit more torque, like in the lower range, it's just a tiny bit. Now, here's that same bump. I'm a little bit scared to do this bump with the tire on. Oh, okay. That slightly smaller diameter tire does make that bump feel a little bit different, so I think the off-road test will be quite telling. Now, wet grass. Right, let's go do the road noise test, then we'll get both the wheels out again, and we'll go do the off-road test. There we go. All right, road noise test now on the Pirelli Angel 8080. I've unplugged the lapel mic again. Let's go see how it sounds. Now, I'll tell you straight away before we do it, wind change in the tire, we've done something to one of the runners, and it's got a little bit of a creak on the right-hand side. So if you hear the creak, we're gonna fix it. We just need to take the tire off, and probably put a little bit more grease in there. Right, road noise test, here we go. All 
All right, that's a road noise test. Let's go back to the car, let's swap the pads over and let's bring the S22 out with the A1J. Here we go. All right, gang, and now it is the fun part, the off-road test. So here it is here. Let me show you from above. I've just flown the drone over. I don't have a drone pilot, unfortunately, so we'll just have to make through with, I'll show you the top. Now we're gonna drive through it. Now, again, we're back on the original, the A1J tire. I'm probably getting that wrong every time, but I'm pretty sure it's A1J, something like that. We're gonna do a loop, then we're gonna go get the Pirelli Angel. There's a loop here I can do. It's probably about 600 meters. Then we'll go get the other one and swap it over. And at the end, I'll give you my, I guess, wrap up and tell you my pros and my cons and uh, like why I would get one over the other. It's a little bit muddy. Oh, spiderweb, just went straight through it. Okay, so this is like loose stuff here, but it's not deep. So this will be a good test for the Angel when we get it. But right now, the A1J is going fine. Here's its first little hill for grip. Okay, and can we turn? Oh, I can't quite make the turn without putting my foot down. That is a tight turn though. When I bring my off-road skateboards here, I do have to pick them up. But it'll be interesting to see if the Angel will make it. Okay, this tire and suspension is just handling it like a champ. Also, keep an eye out for snakes. There are loads around here. Okay. Got another bank there a little bit, yep. Sorry if my commentary is a bit boring. <laughs> Woo! Okay, this is a fun track. Wow, we need to bring more unicycles here. I'm just doing your front view at the moment. And I can, I'll... Oh man, this thing gets up in boogies. Oh, I'll tell you what, with that new firmware, it just, it guns it. Okay. Whew. Okay, I've done a slightly longer loop than I thought, but it's because I'm enjoying it too much. So I apologize. Oh. So many spiderwebs I'm going through. And yes, they can be poisonous here. Ooh, okay. Okay, so obviously the A1J handles track riding amazingly well. This is really the, what do you call it? The control. We know this does well. So let's go back and get the other one now, and we'll do the same loop. Oh, that's a big jump. <laughs> All right, if I was more experienced, I'd do that. Now, if I wasn't holding a camera, I'd probably try it. I'm sure you would. But I don't want to break the camera, right? <sighs> so the jump is going to be the end part of the track. Let's go back and get the S20 with the Pirelli Angel. Here we go. All right, guys, this is the final test, the Pirelli Angel 8080 on the Kingsong S22. You just saw the original tire, the A1J. Let's see how this one goes. now. My question will be, does it uh, handle the corners better? You remember at the very beginning, when we go straight ahead, I couldn't make the turn. Uh, let's see if this one can. But also, how does it handle with the loose gravel? Does the wheel skid out? Because I, I felt like it skidded before on the grass. It could have been my, my lack of ability. Anyway, let's go. So I'm gonna try to do the exact same track over the same little mounds. Made it, just made it. Now that could be because I knew what to expect, or it could be the tire. <laughs> now, straight away, this does feel um, more flowy, but it doesn't feel as forgiving. Now, both tires are roughly inflated to the same. I think we've got about 26 PSI in each tire. Now, these loose needles, you can probably see, this, it's, they're taking these fine, like, there's no I'm not skidding or losing control or anything. Sitting on the same speed, 20, 22 k per hour. Honestly, there is very, very little difference between the two. Except for that noisy suspension, which we need to re-grease, obviously. <laughs> okay, up here. I actually feel like I can go a little bit faster with this tire, which is odd. I gotta remember where that jump is. I don't wanna accidentally run into that. My headlights are turning on, so I'll turn the camera to the side a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. 
Wow, okay. Okay, this strict tire feels fantastic, even on off-road. That's crazy. And here we are at the finish. Whoa, back to the jump. Woo, all right guys, so, man, massive, massive tick for the Pirelli Angel uh, 8080 scooter front tire, all the specs, it's like two kilos or something. Let's uh, ride back to the car and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. That brings us to the end of this comparison video. Absolute had a blast making this content today. Any excuse to get out of the office, especially to ride trails, is just a good day for me. Uh, really, honestly, wow. The Pirelli Angel did extremely well in all aspects, but the original A1J did almost just as well on everything, including the road riding. So the question really comes down to you guys being the owners. Do you want a wheel that you're gonna ride predominantly on road and you want it to be super carvy, or do you want something that you're gonna ride on both, but you wanna have the ability to do some really extreme off-roading because the A1J is gonna take you almost anywhere, I believe. The Pirelli will take you most places. All right, gang, that is the end of this comparison video. Thank you so much for watching. Chuck all your comments and questions down below. If you've got any feedback on this style of video, also let us know. And if you'd like us to compare something else, maybe the Hero with a street tire versus road tire, let us know and we'll do our best to make it happen. All right, gang, and until next time, don't forget, ride, recharge, and repeat. Hold up, there's a unicycle.